Oh, hi guys. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, before we I'm were recording, so Cujo was was putting on a voice, and he lost it just before the sound. So, if anybody's eaten a lot of peanut butter, sorry, you peanut allergy people, I am sorry. Um, <laughs> you get that teeny little bit of like phlegm or whatever in the back of your throat, so it turns you into Batman if you let your voice go low enough. Oh. I was reading some nihilist Arby's, and it was nihilist amazing. Nihilist Arby's? Nihilist, whatever. Shut up. <laughs> Arby's will no longer bus our tables. You can eat in filth of those who came before you like the insignificant worms you are. Enjoy Arby's. <laughs> Here's your phone. Take so, your phone. So uh, today we are playing a game called Luster, or Lustre, and not really. Lustre. It's, it's a game by Peter Kirk. Um... Yeah, and, Kirk. yeah. I mean, so this is this is a free game on Game Jolt right now, and the reason why I chose that we should play this game is uh, that Whoa. sentence made no sense. The reason why <laughs> I, I I grabbed this game for the show <laughs> is is because I really really like the game mechanics because it, it's it's really simple. Um, well, here I'll even show you. Um, so we use the mouse to illuminate your surroundings. So obviously okay. it's all dark until the mouse hovers over it. Okay. You shoot to click to shoot targets. We shoot to click targets. What? Shoot to click targets. Where's my gun? <laughs> and see this little thing. So yeah. these react to your light. And if your light is away from them, obviously right now our platform is moving because we shot this little uh, gadget. Yeah. But we can use the light to power. Um, Collect lanterns to restore light. Oh, okay. And there's also so our light diminishes oh. as we play through the level. So yeah. it actually um, becomes more challenging if we take a long time. Um, but the cool thing is, is we use the light and the movement controls and the gun all kind of in uh, uh, with with each other to navigate these environments. And so I, I really like the light mechanic. I thought it. it it gave the game a very, very interesting mechanic that I have yet to really see. Yeah, um, like that. So, yeah. Um, so I guess we'll just play the game. Yeah. So, uh, how's it going, Kuju? It's going great. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to rip my own eyes out of my face and shove them down my own throat during rush hour traffic today. But, uh, you know, on a lighter note, I didn't... <laughs> Yeah, well, such is the nature of driving into Chicago. They can't know where we are. You you know, you say this, but it, all of our videos are tagged with Chicago. Ooh, that's not me. <laughs> okay, so here's another mechanic. What? We shoot these uh, little pipe things, and it uh, directs This the is one of those games that makes my brain melt. You think so? Yeah. I can't, I can't with the, with the puzzles. It's, I mean, I guess it is a puzzle, right? But, like, it's not... Crazy, complicated. I don't think. Um, well, you you overestimate my brain power. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm just saying. Thanks. People like comment and subscribe if you think I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I I yeah no I mean <laughs> I, 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 I guess yeah, I, I, I'm I, done arguing. I don't really know what I was trying to say because this game is definitely a puzzle game so. Um, <laughs> It's just, it's interesting oh, because it's... Oh, God. Yeah, this, this is where things start to get a little bit more challenging because it's time, timing. You did it. I did it. Oh, wait. Oh, man. I don't actually think I need to do this. But um, there... Yeah, the exit's right So, there. okay, I was wrong. These things aren't the things that react to light. These are just pickups that you get. I think it... I don't know if it actually does anything, but uh, hmm. it, you know, it's, it's like a point system. I like the font. I don't know. Yeah, I, I like the font too. It's kind of got a nice style and it still is very legible. Okay, so heaters. These are, where are they? This. Oh. Yes. So this is where the game starts oh. to get a lot more interesting. And uh, we have to pay a lot more attention to where we are in relation to <laughs> our cursor. Kind of reminds us a bit of, or kind of reminds me a bit of when we played... Uh, Titan Souls? Titan Souls, no. A little bit for me. Titan Souls didn't. It didn't matter where your cursor really was. Um, well, I guess it sort of did. But you, you kind of. So the difference, though, is that in Titan Souls, your character always faces the direction of uh, where your cursor is. So you don't mm. really need to pay attention to where your cursor actually is on the screen. Fair enough. Um, but what I was going to say is this reminds me of Skyrider, that Kickstarter game. Oh we played. yeah. That uh, game that you had so much fun with. Yeah, well, 
it was it was tough, but I I really liked that game. Um, Skyrim. Yeah, it's it was really unfortunate that that game didn't get kickstarted. Oh. oh, I know what I need to do. Oh yeah, and uh, I can also shoot these heaters to make them go super quick. Oh. Um, but the like reason, that? yes, <laughs> just like that. But the reason, oh, the reason I, I really like this mechanic is, uh, it's for the same reasons that I had good things to say about Skyrider, is that um, I really like games that utilize two separate controls like this and mm. makes it work. Um, and I think it's really appropriate in a puzzle game like this because it's not, the game isn't skill based. Um, there's actually very little skill involved. Right. What the hell do I do? Wait. Hold, what what does it say? What does it say? Uh, you you t touch the teleporter to, to uh, jump. Oh no. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Uh, oh. oh no. Is the game over when your light goes out? Yeah. Makes sense. Well, <laughs> this is going all right, huh? Is this? You missed. You missed. You missed. Oh, it's moving. <gasps> oh, it's a heater. Hurry. That's right. I forgot how clever this game gets. Oh, the virus signature database was successfully updated to version 12199201509903. Thank goodness. I, I, thought I almost knob died. 32. Oh, maybe the light never fully goes away. You say that, but it's getting pretty small. Uh, and you missed. Uh, oh, hey. Good God damn it. Oh. Look at that. Bam. Okay. Maybe. Now I... we have. <laughs> All this Bam. Oh, hey! I, I do really like that the game's um, color fades away the longer and longer the, the light, or rather the, the smaller and smaller the light circle gets. I think that's a great way of introducing the idea of, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Like how the, uh, the actual, like, where you can see just gets dimmer. Yep. Yeah, and I, I like that too. Actually, it kind of emphasizes the fact that this is um, this is a light. It's not just like, hey, you can see this thing. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what you doing? I don't really know, to be totally honest. Um. Bing. And so so talking about um. Damn it. Oh, I see. So talking about games that utilize two separate controls like this, um, Skyrider was challenging because it was a skill-based game, and um, being for, having to control two things at the same time like that is very, very tough. Yeah. Um, Hence why this would make my brain melt. Well, that's why I like it in a puzzle setting, because um, it's not so much about... Oh, that's right. Okay, creepers? creepers do not like the light. So this is where the game starts to get particularly interesting. These guys <gasps> are little monsters. Oh. And if the light touches them, they start freaking they out. They start freaking out. Oh, no. Oh. Which actually makes things interesting in the sense of um, suddenly, if you have a bigger radius, the game actually gets more challenging because of it. Oh, I don't like that those are a thing. <laughs> I, I love it. The game, in terms of its like setting, I don't think is particularly interesting. Like I, I like the art because it's very dichromatic. It's got two color schemes going on. Mm -hmm. um, but like other than that, we don't really have a setting to to place everything. With, yeah. You know? um, Which ultimately, if it's if it's just a straight up puzzle game, it doesn't necessarily need a setting, but it, it always does sort of sort of help. Right. The I, overall feel of it, it the immersion. Right. It, it would it would help um, make the game feel a bit more polished, I think. Yeah. Um, you broke them. Mm, Why'd you maybe break them? I wasn't supposed to do that. Why'd you break them? Oh, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, you know. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I'm glad we haven't forgotten this joke yet. Of course not. I say that. I, Chris, you, you really do think that I come up with these jokes for this show. Th some of the things <laughs> like that, I just say. Who are you? Who are you? Can I get it? Yes. Oh, oh I guess I could have just... so pretty. I guess I could have just ridden... Like, yeah. Yes. I mean... Now you fools. Eh. Oh, Gandalf. So... Oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Why, 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 up, oh up, no! Up, up, up. The creepers got us. Damn it! Oh man! 
So this is where I'd be like, I can't. I, I no, I can't. <laughs> I suppose if I were to make a setting for this game, I wouldn't really know what to do either, to be totally honest. If anything, like, with the creepers in mind, I actually would probably base the setting around them. Um, because I think they're probably the most interesting thing of the game. Uh, yeah. That's really creepy. Um, what are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember what to do. Oh, that's right. Oh, stop that, that noise. There it is. Yes, got it. There it is. There it is. So earlier today, um, I, I shot a tweet out on, on the Game Devs Play Games. Why would you shoot a tweet out? Just fucking shoot type it. it. Just type it. I mean, come you, on. You type it. You don't know anything, Kujo. Oh, I think, okay, so the reason that these teleporters here exist, I think, is to show us that they can turn off. They can deactivate. Oh, okay. Um, so it becomes part of the puzzle, right? Yeah. Um, which I think is actually pretty clever. Um, but anyway, so so I, I tweeted, and I was like, hey, uh, we've been thinking about doing live streams lately, especially with YouTube's new uh, live, like, streaming system. Yeah. Um, which is basically their, their like, true response to Twitch. Um, which I, I find it really interesting. I don't know whether or not I like the new YouTube live streaming stuff uh, or the new like gaming right. dot YouTube because so my issue with it is that there aren't a lot of um, like indie games there. There's only like AAA titles and even ah, damn it and even just like super new ones at that. Right. Um, so for a lot of the games that we play, it doesn't really help us. And it doesn't help other indies either. So That's true. I, I feel it's a very one-sided system. I, I like the format. I just really hope that it uh, gets better. I agree. That would uh, definitely be beneficial for, I don't know, us. Well, not even just us, but I... I just half, indie developers in general. Right. Half of the reason why we play the indie games that we do is because we want to give them more attention. Um... Because A, we're indie developers ourselves, and B, because it's hard. It's really hard to market your games as an indie. Um, oops, I hit that twice. Especially because, you know, we can't afford marketing teams, and yeah. most of us aren't marketers ourselves. So, like, people like me are too stubborn to uh, go out and spend a lot of money and hire a marketer, so I choose to learn everything myself. But that's hard, and that takes a lot of time. That's true. And, I mean, you could go through publishers, but the, the danger is is that um, they're going to want to take a huge profit, or a huge cut of your profit margin. Yeah. And uh, uh -oh. you basically have to question, you know, is, is my time worth... Oh, that was the goal. Yeah. So, so basically, the question becomes: Is my time worth what these these publishers are asking for? Right. Because they're not going to pay you. Um, modern yeah. publishers don't pay you unless you are a huge AAA studio. That's annoying. Um, well, it makes sense because otherwise, it wouldn't be a good market for the publishers either. You know. Mm -hmm. um, and then. What's the story with these little uh, butterfly guys? I actually don't know if I've played this level. So when I first played this game um, on Game Jolt, it was it was relatively new, and I I asked the developer like, hey, how many levels are you planning on doing? Because it doesn't seem like it's finished. And he he told me that there were going to be eight levels. So I was like, oh sweet, I might have just screwed myself. Stalkers won't move while you are in light. What? I don't know. But uh, so there are eight. Oh oh oh. So there are eight levels in this game, <laughs> and uh, I decided to wait until it was finished before we played. Yeah. And so here we are. Woo! Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Um, Actually, do you want to hold that off for the next episode? Yeah, works fine. I think, I think we're, we're on level five, um, so this will probably be a two-episoder. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Now, it, oh, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, but also uh, <laughs> forget the part where we said Chicago. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because no, no one can know. We are in a base on the moon. 
on the moon. I think they killed Oh, me. you die. I wanted to see if they killed us. You did. <laughs> They're creepers. Huh? Okay, well, anyway. You did. Anyway, we will see you guys in the archives. You did. <laughs> so motherfucker dead, so dead, so dead, so motherfucker dead. Could you tell I like metal? I love metal. I like That's so metal, bro. <laughs> <laughs>